Now let's look at uh, why we call it the 360 degree stock analysis for top glove. Okay. Now one of the reasons why we do this is that uh, we take all frontier when it comes to analyzing stocks, both fundamental technicals in terms of volume spread analysis, which is what we highlight here. And the latest is uh, new sentiment, what we call uh, uh, positive new sentiment, negative new sentiments. And that's very important because a lot of people tend to come in into this era of investment because of news driven. They say, hey, you know, this company and it's, it's, they, they got this new technology, this new uh, businessman, this new project, and, and it's going to go sky roof. And we've seen that happen also on, on uh, Green Packet, right? And uh, where the news comes out and tell people to buy, buy, buy. What happened to Green Packet? You all remember what happened with Green Packet yesterday? I think it was a limit down. So that's very important that I don't want of you, any of you, uh, especially investors who are listening, to get caught. Huh? Especially, now, of course, Green Packet versus Top Glove. These are two different qualities, isn't it? All right. Uh, one is like, you know, IT driven, tend to be a bit speculative. And there's Top Glove is down to uh, the basic, but that's more important. Look at the, this logo in here. I have my pen in here. And you can see, look at the top quality, top glove, top quality, top efficiency, right? <laughs> Even on their slogan, right? They already talk about the business rule. How serious can the management does, you know? You don't see Air Asia, cheapest, best service, and top in everything, right? You don't hear that in Air Asia, isn't it, right? But we hear that on Top Globe. No doubt, they are known for their business, Chinese, hardworking kind of ethics. And then some of you who have been uh, what we call a Top Globe investor a couple of years ago, I'm just not talking about this uh, pre-MCO or post-MCO, but a few years ago, if you collected uh, any Top Glove, I think you are, I did not get any Top Glove, to be frank with you. I bought uh, Hatalega around $2, and also I'm a big fan of the other uh, 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 rubber glove maker, which is uh, listed in Singapore called Riverstone. I met uh, previously the the rubber glove a uh, few years back. Uh, in They have an office in Rawa. I was quite impressed because I wanted to have some exposure in Sing Dollar for the rubber glove. And that's what I bought the uh, uh, this river stone. I think some of you may have heard me talking about this. Uh, not only this time, last year. So I'm still holding the river glove. I think it's almost more than double. I bought it around 70 cents now. It's about, I think last thing was about $2 in there. So uh, that's, that's what we got. So let's talk about top glove, okay? Right, let's move on. Now, of course, uh, be part of our 3,000 Telegram follower. This is something I always do every night, especially those of you who are listening for the first time in here. You get to see me or listen to me once a week, but on our daily uh, updates and informing mission, join this. So just use your phone with a QR code and snap that, all right? And not to miss out is to subscribe to our YouTube channel in here. Uh, we've done a lot of effort. We have re redo up the website in here, and that is something what you can... Um, uh, get to you may not able to hear me uh, regularly because of your commitment of your time but we will uh, repackage the uh, the video that you watch tonight to something simpler and short form so you can watch it at the later you can see uh, we we talk about COVID-19 ventilator manufacturing opportunity uh, PPE counters all right uh, personal protection equipment manufacturer post MCO market recovery what you should do right and there's also a testimonial of our member who used some of our tools and benefited way so we have talking about it, the presentation that we do tonight right it's really gearing if you've been listening and following me it's really gearing you moving one step to one step to one step to becoming a smarter more informed more analytics okay more analytics and the era of post mco the digitization of the environment right we no longer have to listen to here we can do analysis and that's what trade vsa is all about so subscribe 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 to trade vsa uh youtube Com. Okay, uh, of course, our, our FB daily, we will continue to do the uh, MCO even up to after the higher year, we will still continue to do this. Uh, morning session 10.15. Tomorrow, I'll be here again 10.15 with you guys to trade the FCPO. So I'm pretty hardworking. So give me a thumbs up for being really hardworking. Tonight, I'm with you. I will still will be with you tomorrow uh, on Thursday 10.15 and Friday 10.15. And don't forget, 9.30 will be my colleague Zach here.
All right. Now, for those of you who did ask me about, you know, what's this Smart Roby apps? You know, I got this thing here. Now, go over to uh, the Google Play Store. Okay, Google Play Store. If you have an Android phone like me, if you have an Apple phone, go over to Apple Store. So download from there and share with your friend. You get 200 credits. Okay, when you share with your friends and your friend will get another 100 credits. So the more you share, the better. All right. So this get the words out. Use the Smart Roby because a lot of our references tonight will refer to Smart Roby. How you can use it to combine technicals, fundamental, and sentimental analysis so you can really share this in here. Okay, so you have not, please do share this over there. All right, let's go now. Now, Slama Hari Raya, just in case I don't have a chance to wish you guys well. Uh, to my Malay friends, I have a lot of Malay, Ahmad Shihan and uh, uh, Arif. I have a few more in here, I, if I can get their name. Hi, hi. Those of you who are listening for the first time, thank you for uh, for, for coming tonight. So, Slama Hari Raya, which I do believe is this Sunday. So, to give you a special gift, we are throwing a very special uh promotion 12 months of trade vsa package huh? and you get two months free so that is an additional 600 ringgit thrown in into the package so to find out more contact the number right at below the scrolling screen for that one there's a number in there 010 for more things so slama hari raya guys slama hari raya for my muslim friend drive carefully i wouldn't say drive carefully right because i think you're not permitted to go home <laughs> but then again if you are already staying in the clan very you're already at home all right good okay so let's talk about meanwhile all right meanwhile so meanwhile what five known facts now every week i'll try to start off with five known facts which is very important so sort of set the the tonality tonality and where we're going to talk about right the five known fact right before we get to the main theme so number one all right now this is in us the three trillion coronavirus relief was passed despite donald trump really veto it it really hit this nancy pelosi which is the house of the democrat and he is a republican because he don't want her to take the limelight and because part of the three trillion coronavirus is to uh, pump in 75 billion on testing i think those of you who has been following the news in us they don't enough test 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 they're not doing enough tests the cdc test which came out didn't work and they were slow they were almost four weeks slower than north korea in terms and that's why they they told it's likely to surpass 100 000 people can you imagine more people die in us in this coronavirus compared to vietnam war afghan war and iran war it's very unfortunate so this three trillion coronavirus bill has been passed out 75 billion of that goes into uh what we call the testing of course another 200 billion go to relief and tax relief for those workers but almost six thousand dollars will go to the family now the question is how is this going to be efficiently distributed to those people who need it is still a question mark but they have passed this through and we did have a market rally also uh, 900 points all right so point number two also i think many of you know uh busa is very very hot right now okay busa is very very hot and we we have seen that uh for for this purpose huh? very very hot because of a lot of retailers is coming back in there. You can see uh, Hibiscus, Sapura, Velesto, Bumi Ambar. All this has sort of shot up by 30 over percent, 40 over 60 percent. And someone did ask me, is this going to make an up move? Now, let's put it that way. Energy is coming from a sector which did went to negative. Of course, the future, uh, the crude oil prices did went to negative. Now, I think it's about $30. Will it go back up? I think there is a chance. But what has happened? All this, uh, what we call so-called darling counter. Now, take note of hibiscus. I think I did post it on FB.com. Hibiscus is one of those weighted very high, 5 out of 8. And to me, I think that is a better uh, play for that one. And that's why it's no... Uh, no uh, reason why hibiscus cannot go any longer but again play on a right setup and play on the fundamental and in most cases you do pretty pretty well all right so let's go on to fact number three what we see so far in here is short-term trades are coming in no doubt about it right now there are a few concerning set, uh, factor what's have really happening in our klci all right because we get a lot of retailer coming in now we all know uh during this MCO or right, Rakuten, one of the online uh, has opened up 11,000 to 12,000 accounts in 21 days, right? Now, don't forget, MCO is almost two months, so there'll be more and more of these accounts opening. So, these fellas all are coming in to trade. 
Is that the reason why? But there are other reasons which is posted by the star in here. If you look, let me just get this pen and try to write it in here. The market, huh? some of the counters, okay, let me get, yeah. Some of the counters, huh, number one, uh, really are not fundamentally back. So that's why we really want you guys to use the Roby ratings, right? At least that will put you on the right side. Remember, I talked about KKB, isn't it, right? Early on, this stock, I did put it up on the facebook.com at smartroby, right? But no, not many people talk, talking about it. Rated the five out there, has a nice setup, pays a reasonable dividend, and off it goes, okay? So that's what I mean. If you go over the green packet, Different story altogether. I do think if not check it, it's not even rated because it has been losing money. That's right, that's right. So we also see high volatility, right? And this is the part where they talk about stock price limit down. Point number two, example, green packet. Okay. Now this is a this is the part where a lot of people who want to chase, 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 uh, when you start chasing, you get into trouble like this and you can now whack green packet. So that was a limit down in here. And third thing is uh, what we call injection of liquidity uh, from Dominic Sema. What they're saying, look, uh, there is a lot of people don't have to pay loan uh, for their loan for six months. No loans for six months. They take in the market and going to the stock market. That was also the reason number three, right? Why the stock market is going. Can you imagine people taking company funds, right? To going into the stock market and that's to me that's that's really a, a, a mind-boggling and fourth I think uh, this is one of the reason why is because we are seeing also interest rate okay interest rate fixed deposit are perhaps going to turn negative going down from to two percent and year-end they're going to have another cut in fact so more people are coming out now what do you think do you think these reasons are validate that the market can go higher now i did talk to one of the country managers huh, of a broker house he do he do say that look this what we see will continue for two more months now from the chart wise i see there is a 40 percent chance probability of it right because we are testing the one four four zero very very soon today we close up almost 11 points right which i'm going to show you the chart too it's right so do what i say here makes sense give me a thumbs up all right Let, let's go on now the fourth known fact is that foreign funds are still staying away for the time being if you look at what we've seen so far right uh here is the um the klci right which we did talk about it and this is the KLCI, and it's actually turning up okay so it's what we do we call it the hockey stick okay the hockey stick effect okay it's moving up but it's moving up on what is it moving up on because india are buying back our palm oil is it moving up because the tech stock are going up is it moving up because of the foreign funds coming back in here definitely not but you have seen over the years the last 20 years malaysia tends to move up in tandem with the foreign funds but we're not seeing that right now so you can see we have a first time a second time and only ladies and gentlemen boys and girls empat kali saja <laughs> only four times only a foreign fund come here but the market is going up so that's why a bit worry also eh, for many of you who are uh caught soon to be caught or maybe not caught yet right hang in there what you want to do is sort of go in for every five days or two weeks come out quickly you know you want to turn your your trades i think that's the only way to do it turning your trades in so if the market were to turn you're not caught it's like you know fish it's, it's like a bucket here you quit taking things out okay taking things out if the market were to clamp down at least you took some of those money out i think that's what also really happening in there but 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 if the foreign funds are coming in right now then we have a sustainability i think that's going to uh, come back very soon around 1440 and also behind uh, the political scene we have seen uh, this week we have the first parliament sitting right there was a possibility of a vote of no confidence right they were uh, supposed to have a two uh, three majority now turned to two majority uh, seats for the uh, 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 for the coalition party called pn versus the ph so this is again a uh, little bit of uncertainty in terms of political in here right now what we are seeing we are getting the hockey stick effect which means the market is zooming up so do take note all right now of course all the bad news behind us which i did talk about many many weeks ago uh, three four weeks those of you has been really following me in here i said look you gotta accumulate early and one of the reasons why you can see we did see the first uh, what we call the pentagon i will talk about the pentagon those of you who was who is listening for the first time right 
uh, the 12th, the 12th of April, the Pentagon first came out, right? At that time, and right now, we, we are at 20th of May, almost uh, uh, one and a half months, right? One and a half months, you already been known to fly in here. And right now, we are getting what is called momentum, uh, all the rubber, rubber glove stocks, which is the theme tonight. Okay, so thing to accumulate way back at 12th of April, if you have done to. Now also, let's look at the, what's this happening to the scene, to the US. US is reopening. US wants to move on. Donald Trump is going for his re-election campaign. That's right. Joe Biden is still campaigning from his, what we call basement, right? So Joe Biden want to do that, but Donald Trump want to go out and campaign. And when he campaign, he doesn't wear a mask because masks show weakness, right? He's a man of words. So, so that's what he's going to do. He's going to go out and campaign. So that's why he veto this three trillion in there because he doesn't want Nancy Pelosi to outshine him. So he's going to continue in there more and more and he's going to be hammering also China. So he also talk about the chlorophyll, right? Uh, uh, that's the tough word to pronounce. I'm not going to pronounce it in here. But the latest news, we saw the rise of the 900 points two days back. And then there was because of Moderna vaccine is the market. But then last night they came out, look, they only tested on eight people only. Eight people, no doubt, they all produced a little bit of antibody in there and the market got excited and started to rally 900 points. But last night we dropped 300 points. So tonight I'm going to see what is going to be uh, likely. To so we have this vaccine uh, in here, market's going to rally. So news is coming out, you know, but of course there are issues in here, but the bad news are behind us. As I said before, the bad news are behind. Everything is reopening. Remember last week we talked about Shanghai, Disneyland reopening this week. Okay, we are talking about Apple stores reopening. Of course, Apple stores have already been reopened in US. They're going to be opening this week in here. And uh, probably it's the same procedure that you will see when you go to the local shopping mall. I was, I live in Patling Jaya. I went to Banda Utama shopping mall inside. Not really a, a, pe a, a good uh, experience a long queue that look like a snake in there. Maybe if you go in there to buy a, 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 a little bit of grocery, you got to wait 20, 25 minutes in there. And worst thing is you wear a mask. I don't know about you. I, I wear glasses. So the, 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 I, I get forks up on my glasses. So it's not really a good experience. So you tend to just want to go in there, get your stuff and come back out. Right? Just like now, imagine if I were to do this talk wearing a mask. It's not going to be very, very comfortable for me, isn't it? So right now, at least where you are enjoying listening to, uh, you, you really uh, feel that this is important. Now, also very important in there, things I will talk about last week and I keep shining it because the US technically have moved out from the bear market to a new bull market. Every time this 20% mark, if you have not, do not know what I'm talking about, go back to the YouTube and listen to some of my previous uh, uh, recorded uh, video and I'll, t I'll talk more about those trend here. But tonight it's about top glove. All right. So again, uh, a little bit of, of our company products to trade VSA Pentagon Guider. You can see uh, where is the KLCI now. KLCI now is up. Uh, uh, I think today is 0.78% uh, in here to 14.35. Now last week we are just somewhere here. Last Friday we are here just there, just below the threshold 1440. We are broken up in here and you can see the Pentagon was correct. When he first defined that uh, sell down the red pentagon way back in March and then on the April, uh, April 12th, April 13th, I can't see from in there, it was correct again. So the markets continue to go up in here. Of course, you know, people say can buy now or not, right? So the question is, we're going to talk about later is what is a system, okay? We're going to talk about what system you guys are going to be using, okay? Now let's talk about this topic here. Of course, many of you have been listening for the last, what? 10 minutes can buy not top glove isn't it <laughs> you're going to be saying why you talk so much can buy not this top glove okay so we're going to be reviewing in here now can you tell me who this chap is all right if you can't tell me at least tell me his surname okay i'll give you a clue his surname is the same surname as the previous finance minister uh, type it in there what do you think his surname but he has a new name uh, the other uh, the old finance minister no tan sri uh. this fella got tan sri okay uh, tan sri doctor some no ah okay just type it in there what do you think of his name okay now this one is tan sri lim 
Davy Chai. That's right, I got his name. So rubber glove is definitely his industry. You can buy now. Let's look at the overall. Now let's look at the basic. Okay, the basic about top glove. They are one of the world uh, largest manufacturers of glove. Okay, not forgetting right today, uh, which is the twentieth of May. It closed three percent up. Is it because of this talk I'm going to be doing tonight? It, did, it goes up because everybody saw Martin will be talking about Top Glove, so they buy first, right? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you think I'm right, right? Because Martin will be speaking and that's why Top Gloves goes higher. Or the smart money is using the pretense that I am talking about Top Glove. They push it up so more public will buy tomorrow and they sell. What do you think? All right. Of course, I don't have any top glove. I bought the Hatta Lega much, much earlier. I'm still riding up the, the Hatta Lega that I have. Of course, I could have more, but I sold some in there. I still have it in there. So some people say, why didn't you get more? All right. There's always been that, that question inside there. All right. Uh, you all know where the, the headquarters is, right? It's right in Shah Alam, in Stia Alam. If you ever go over to Stia Alam shopping mall, just think to it, the top glove. They also have a restaurant in there from Sikin Chan in there. All right. And the founder is Tan Sri Dr. Lim V. Chai. Okay. All right. Uh, the company was founded 29 years ago. Man, that is very hardworking. Imagine having, uh, some of you may not even be married for 29 years, isn't it? But this guy had a company for 29 years. And this is all going back to the basic Chinese kind of a business model, work hard, low cost, you know, go global, right? I think you heard before, we have many of these people, uh, like the public banks, the Gentings, the Hong Leongs, okay? Uh, a few more, I can't name off my head, all right? These are the old way. And right now, the production, they're doing about more than 74 billion pieces. That's right, 74 billion pieces. Now, just to give you a little bit of gauge, how much is that? Worldwide, we are expected to consume post-MCO, okay, post-MCO. Before MCO, we're talking about 200 billion pieces a year. Now, we're going to be talking about 300 billion uses a year in uh, on our Earth, okay? On our Earth, I think we are close to about 7 to 8 billion people. Two hands, huh? So, 16 billion. Just imagine everybody huh, use it. It. Of course, I don't say everybody lah. Let's say thirty percent lah. Thirty percent of eight, we're talking about four. Uh, four billion uh, Two will be eight billion a day. Eight billion times how many working day? Eight times two hundred. Let's say two hundred working day they use ah. Uh. Wow, you do your maths uh. More than one trillion usage, and then they are only manufacturing seventy four billion. So what we're trying to say, the post MCO that demand has sort of blown up. Of course, many of you will be excited, right? But don't look at the facts first before you buy. All right. And the number of employees that they have is about 19,000 spread over at 44 factories. I was thinking about presenting all those factories and all the schematics where which line, what they do. But I think you're the one, the one that, right, you fall apart. That is something when I go as a fund manager to visit this company, they'll present to you, right? But I just want to present it and make it a bit more lively, a bit more information that you enjoy it some more, all right? Now, let's look at the Roby technical analysis, all right, being the smart Roby apps. Right now, you can see here, let me just bring this up here. It is very, very bullish, okay? It is very, very bullish. And uh, the, the key thing is always watch out. I tell the members, huh? watch out when it's from 60% going to 70%. That is the key here. Once it hit about 90, it's going to stay up there, right? Which means it's already run, right? Uh, Market is very bullish, it's a blue trend zone in here. Still no sell signal yet because the sell signal is always we wait for the rate. Now, if you have gone in following a system, I don't care what system you have, have some sort of system that tell you when to go in and when to pay up. Because a lot of time, you know, we don't have time, we just have to read the newspaper, right? But at least read the newspaper, check with Smart Ruby. Now, Smart Ruby is free to use, okay? So as I said before, when you share with your friend, you get free 200 credits. So make sure you share it with your friend, all right? So you can see Top Glove has already gone up by 46% since the last Green Pentagon inside there, all right? All right, uh, which is around 717. Wow, now it's already $10.80, right? Who knows, after this talk, it's continue to go up to $11. But where did we take profit? I'll tell you more, all right? So again, uh, also uh, Tan Sri, Dr. Lim, uh, V. Chai in here, being the background in his, uh, a lot of Chinese uh, plus Western management style that has prompted him uh, to become the businessman of the year. I know it's what we call the Ernst and Young or the influential in there, but he's getting all the limelight out there. I think which is also good because not many uh, you know, businessmen out there uh, really you know, hardworking like uh, uh, this uh, uh, Tan Sri Dr. Lim Wee Chai out there. And I think he's getting that medal from our Prime Minister, the seventh Dr. Mahate in here. Uh, this year, will, will we have another top 100 influential entrepreneur? 
unlikely 2020 because of mco everybody will be at what can you imagine uh uh tan sri doctor if he's accepting for 2020 he'll be staring from a zoom right thank you very much thank you very much and he'll be like you know probably wearing his tie and below here is, is his shorts <laughs> and he's wearing his glove too it's gonna be funny so that's not gonna happen so 2009 was a year that goes to uh tan sri dr lim all right bravo and cluedo for him so we gotta know about the facts now of course going back in here as i said before that company was formed almost 20 nine years ago all right almost 29 years ago and it has been a steady growth right partly because of steady growth is the continuous use of what rubber glove that's right the use of rubber glove and uh, in terms of uh, revenue and uh, equity of almost 19 to uh, 22 percent since listing in 2001 and we have that company for almost uh, way back in uh, uh, 29 years ago since 1991 so it's a really steady company now the question is it's going up are you jumping in at the very pricey model or would you like to wait for a pullback all right there's always a pullback it's a method that we always teach in our three-day course make sure you find out more about that so of course Malaysia is a global producer of rubber glove. I think that's very important in here. We did talk about the 300 to 350 billion expected usage. And we are talking about the annual growth rate of 12 to 15% because of the post MCO. Now rubber glove uh, at one time, I think three years ago did do pretty well. And then after 2019, it sort of died off. And then what happened? Wham! You have this coronavirus and you have the growth as i said before this disease then you think very carefully this disease uh, last time they talk about every 15 years and the last time we have a big one was 203 that was the sars right now 203 2020 17 years later all right so which means hopefully we're talking about average about every 15 years but right now many people said look coronavirus may not go away the vaccine may not be found still another two more years coming in here right so having said that, uh, Malaysia, I salute you. All right? We are one of the largest uh, uh, producer of rubber glove and we corner 63% of the world, which is equivalent to 188 billion. And Thailand, China, Indonesia are uh, next. So likely if you ever go overseas, you see a rubber glove, look below there. It's going to be man manufactured either by Hata, Kosan, excuse me, or Top Glove. Mainly a lot of Top Glove in here. All right. So let's look at that. Uh, now, in in, uh, in the manner what we said, we, we know that they currently top glove supply about 25% of the world, have a very good mix. Uh, the latex glove, the nitrates, the powder la uh, free latex. Now they have powder free latex. A lot of people are very sensitive to the latex, which is the rubber one, the natural rubber. Nitrate are not rubber. La. Then the uh, vinyl one is plastic surgical. Uh, they're just different variations. They have, they have plastics. Uh, they have the nitrate uh, uh, nitrate, and also latex. These are basically the three rubber gloves in there. I'm not going to go down to too much of the technicality. It's just that different preferences. More importantly is the margin, right? The better, more comfortable one gets better margins and they can make it more. I think that's very important. And ship out more. Because these days people are talking about comfortability. You know, they've been wearing all things. You heard about PPE being insufficient in, e uh, in EU and also in US. And glove definitely is one of the products in here. Of course, many of the other manufacturers, uh, they are not going to go into Top Glove. Who are we talking about? We are talking about uh, Ocean Cash, uh, which traditionally make a lot of uh, 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 the, the diapers, right? So they are going to making masks and other things more inside there, not going to the specific in here, right? So also they has about 42 factories and about 683 uh, production lines. Very quick one in here, uh, producing almost 70, bi 70 billion pieces a year and 93% of them are in Malaysia. They have need two factories in Thailand and one in China and right now they're employing almost 19,000 employees. I wouldn't be listening. Now, how many of you listening now are employees of Top Glove. You have an employee Top Glove, just say, I am, I work for Top Glove. Okay, it'd be great to know if what I'm saying here uh, makes sense or not, and really uh, you are in there. So if, if you do, please write it in there. I really appreciate it in there. All right, so also what they did is they also move up to the upstream because they were so worried that, you know, being a, a, a huge uh, rubber glove maker, someone will hold them by ransom. You know what I mean, right? Don't sell, <laughs> don't sell raw material to them. So they've gone to rubber plantation. Again, rubber plantation takes a long, long time. I think I remember if I'm mistaken, they spent about 400 million going into rubber plantation in Indonesia, help them to reduce later prices because what they produce goes straight to them. All right. 
And uh, but the problem, the cycle, the palm oil takes about five to six years. Rubber, uh, sorry, rubber plantation is about fifteen years. So they're in there for the long haul if they're gone into the rubber plantation. So keep in mind. Right now, the fact that they have done so well, it's very important to re-examine some of the decision that they have. You know, they're really looking into uh, the usual stuff we get. One is the vision. You know, uh, I think I'm sure many of you are in corporate or in the management. You go for uh, management uh, getaway where you know the, the CEO come in. Think about your vision. Think about your mission where you all group up with different department, the HR, the engineers. Try to write down this uh, world uh, world class. Right, I've done it before. I'm sure you've done it too. Right, if you've done it. Please give me a thumbs up. Do I say what am I make sense or not? So these are where the uh, the the corporate values will when you talk about reversing here. But what I would like to hear is this one in here, okay? The business rules, and this is to me is very funny. Uh, don't lose our shareholders' money. Don't lose our health. Don't lose our temper, and don't lose our customer. I, I think this is a, this is one of the few, uh, you know, very, I have to say, very Chinaman style of doing it. Uh, uh, customer is your lao ban. Customer is your boss, and and also the ethics, the honesty, integrity is there. There were some claims about they're using all these foreign workers. They are using foreign workers, whether they're they're unemployed and they were child labor. I think there was this thing uh, brought up by the West. We know those dirty tricks are uh, brought up by the West because they couldn't compete uh, in terms of palm oil producer. Malaysia is number one, of course number two after Indonesia, but the rubber glove we are definitely number one. So take note of the uh, business rule there. Okay, so uh, in terms of the uh, sales volume in here, every country it's really growing, uh, and even though they went down, all right, in Africa and Latin America, it's only a small percentage, right? But I think if you go, this is uh, uh, financial year 2019 versus 2018, but if you're going forward, you can see everything will go to the US, right? US is their number one customer in here, you can see growth, uh, almost 20, uh, 20%. And then next you have uh, the Japan, right? Japan, right? A lot of old people, <laughs> old people, old folks use a lot of rubber glove, right? 24% in here. Oceanic, they, they didn't have any. Australia, uh, the Middle East, then you got the Asia and Japan, single digit, Eastern Europe, single digit. And the Western Europe and uh, next one is the third one, okay? Let me see, number three here, third one is EU. Okay, I assume EU lah. If you combine both together, uh, averaging is about uh, like sixteen percent. So about sixteen percent, okay, or more. So you can see, uh, the growth is, is there, and Top Glove has been there. Uh, I also noticed from their annual reports, they are participating a lot of the uh, what we call exhibition and conferences in there. So they become sort of like a medical uh, household name lah. Huh? Medical, huh? Top Glove, Rubber Glove, they will know it. All right. Uh, India. Now, if you look at uh, in terms of the sales, very important. Uh, it, it, why a reason why I bring this up is because it's important that they don't depend on one or two big customers, right? And usually, when they depend on two customers, then you see a lot of erratic in terms of the sales. If they have some problem with one customer not able to pay, sales will gonna. So in here, they have a very good spread. Uh, very well diversified. You can see this. Uh, what we call the uh, uh, pie chart here. You got North America, Western Europe, and, and the rest well distributed. But on the right hand side, very important. What they have done, they have moved up. If you're not mistaken, the nitrate glove. You can see right the percentage because this is the one that gives them the best profit margin. Right. Every company is trying to move on to the nitrate. Huh? This one, the nitrate glove. Okay. The latex one, uh, they got the powder free and non-powder. Huh? Right. The powder one, very let's say one uh, you put on uh, your hand, the one smell one, no? Uh, if you try rubber glove, right? Uh, the surgical glove, uh, the percentage is small. They know nitrate glove is very popular and they're very really focusing. Uh, Hatta used to be the biggest, one of the biggest in nitrate glove. They focus almost 98%. And before that was uh Top glove, but top glove is coming back now. They come back with a vengeance. You can see latex, ah, huh? latex glove, which is the lower one. And they are. now, one reason why you also noted nitrate comes from chemicals like petrol, uh, petrol chemicals in there. And right now, if you see, uh, all prices are very cheap, so the margins are much much better. Whereas for the latex, we know there's a fluctuation in the latex and commodities that will stretch. So this is where the, the whole focus, uh, they really you know focusing a lot on the nitrates and nitrates give them better margins. Now, let's look at the financial summary too. Financial summaries are very important in here. And you can see right now the uh, what we have. Uh, revenue been growing very well. We can see uh, uh, back to 2014 to 20, uh, 
2019, but the net profit been fluctuating, okay? And uh, 2019, we expect, uh, the, the actually this is already close anyway, uh, 365 million, so you can see even the uh, return of equity has dropped, okay? 14.4. Now, this is back in 2019, so you can see we were high of... Uh, of 2016-18 uh, in here. So I think in a way they're really expanding. So there are a lot more costs associated with that, the uh, operating OPEX in here. And uh, they, they have to grow, right? So, but the return on equity is still double digit above 12%, very respectable. And in my, in my opinion, if you ask any fund managers, anything that is you know above 12% are very, very good based on return of equities, all right? Now, more important, we talk about the future. Stock market is all about, you know, uh, not what's in the past, not what you have done, but what you can do better, all right? Because everyone's going to ask me after my talk, can buy, not top glove, all right? Now, right now, we can see, yeah, Gunting, Sam, W have, it's all about efficiency, Brian. I think it's important, all right? So, if you look at the uh, global demand for rubber glove, huh? uh, the uh, cumulated average growth rate, about 9%, but right now, the... Malaysia Association Group, la. I don't know whether they call it Shok or not, la. because of post-MCO, they say, hey, no more 9%, that can be 12 to 15%. So they move up the forecast, right? Then a lot of the local analysts also got very excited, right? Last time 9%, ma. now 12%, no? Hey, just 3%, you're talking at 300 billion. La. That's a lot of rubber glove, no? 3% in and that will translate to a lot more sales and better for our country revenue and a lot more tax that goes into uh, helping the people of Malaysia in here. So you can see there's a really a steady growth and I think at one point, 12-15% respectable uh, for post-MCO because more people are using it. Okay, now if you look at the competitive analysis in here, I, I talk about Riverstone, Hatta Lega, which I have, Kosana, some of my client and Care Plus. These are small, the respectable one. Uh. You can see there's a big differentiation uh, uh, between the, you can add up both Kosan and Hatta Lega in terms of their sales to equal to uh, Top Glove. Top Glove is where, you know, they really produce a lot, almost 683 pieces. Uh, last time when I talked to Riverstone, uh, they were telling me, yeah, they were only producing 4 billion, right? Uh, so I told them uh, when I first visited them, I, that, that was my first visit at uh, Rubber Glove. Uh, I said, that was a lot, 4 billion, one year, you know? He said, what glove? You look at the Top Glove, the father, uh, 70, 70 billion pieces. And then not forgetting behind was Hatta Lega and, and uh, Kosan. So these guys are really big when they're churning out a lot of rubber, rubber glove. All right. And uh, also hot, uh, Top Glove is going into condom making. So that's why Carex is so scared already, you know. Ah, Carex can't go back to it. So you can see the one reason why they, they dominate is because of the sheer volume that they produce and able to have a control over their price. Okay. Uh, in terms of revenue, again, a uh, four point eight billion. Okay, four point eight. I know it's quite small compared to the bigger one like uh Gunting, which Again, uh, they have assets, they have uh, worldwide, you know, presence in New York, Bahamas, and they're, they're you know, churning out something like 21 billion, okay, which is about uh, five, four times uh, uh, 21 divided by five, 4.5 times, okay, more than that. But I'm going to talk about a bit, a bit about Gunting uh, Brahat too, all right? So you can see from there onwards, uh, they are still one of the biggest revenue in terms of the revenue. Most important is you can churn out much, can you have customer before mco before coronavirus there was a big concern and that's why the price lagged even before february in there but right now everybody including the most important the analysts they have revised and that's what rubber it's a really higher price i mean i think something like 40 times uh in my question 40 to 50 times a bit pricey but now it's almost seven uh 60 to 70 times already all right okay now post COVID-19, any risk of oversupply? Now, this is important. It's going back to a little bit of perspective here. Right? Uh, in 2003, we talked about the SARS outbreak, right? There was a surge about 8% demand. And then later on, that during the H1N1, later on, it actually grew by 17% uh, uh, in 2009 and 2010, right? So all, every time when you have this big outbreak, right, they will grow the demand. That's right. So SARS... Uh, came out with you know this even now the big question is that do you see more and more normal people okay wearing glove going out right now 
Today I was in a shopping mall. I see some auntie lah, a young lady wearing rubber glove. Because rubber glove, all this while, has been only at the hands of the medical uh, industry, which means nurses, doctors, uh, medical practitioner, caretaker, uh, hair care worker, they wear rubber glove. But when people, the normal people like you and me, start wearing rubber glove, that's where the demand picks up. I think that is where, where the big game changer. So it's all going to depend on the post-COVID-19. Now remember, right? Malaysia being a 63%, one of the biggest uh, holder. The, the forecast, they are looking at 10 to 15% sales. So which means now, if you buy your price now, ensuring you don't overpay lah, huh? for your top glove price, next year, easily 10% rise uh, for your top glove, provided it pays a dividend. So that's right. When you look at any rubber glove right now, make sure it pays dividend in there. Don't overpay too. Look at the PE. Check it out with uh, Roby in here. Uh, they also uh, ramping up productions, right? Because they have to meet. Last time was 220 billion right now. Now they're going to push up to three to 350 billion. So that's an increase almost of 30% supply right in here. And like it or not, consumer, because fear, right? They probably have to absorb all the costs. Now, you will notice in terms of spending right now, a lot of people are cutting back on luxury in there. And there was uh, that is why uh, car sales, which I was surprised, projected a very good sales in uh, last quarter. But this coming in there, people might want to cut back because they're not going out that often, even petrol prices in here. But in terms of healthcare, to protect themselves, PPE, face masks, I think uh, people are willing to absorb a lot of the costs. Right? I think that's plain human sense. Do what I say this makes sense? Right? If I do... Uh, do share, uh, do give me a thumbs up. Now let's look at the player in terms of got top glove in here, right? These are all again all Chinese inside there, right? And that's why being what it is, they did, did a pretty good job with his sidekick, ah, uh, uh, Tan Sri Doctor Lim V Chai and uh, Dato uh, Li Kim uh, Miao. Okay, so this is more of the two partners in there working out and have all his uh, management they have done pretty well, uh, I would say in here, right? Now if you look really closely. Uh, based on the annual report, are they worth as much as they are paid right now? You see, the whole management team right now producing 4.8 billion. They have been compensated 12.8. So if you do your scale, there's actually less than 1%. So what do you think? Are they overpaid or underpaid? Let, uh, please type it in there. All right, Underpaid or overpaid? Just type under or overpaid. Right by just looking at these numbers in here because these numbers is pretty important because it tells you how a Chinese-minded company goes into using the Chinese way, right? Low cost, full, maximi full maximization, right? Really work hard and expand the market. And that's how they work. Of course, now technology in there, top quality, top efficiency, right? 12.8 million. Tell me, are they overpaid or underpaid? Because this one will probably lead me uh, to the next session in here, all right? Now, if you look at the highest paid CEO in Malaysia, right? On the top there, 168 billion, which means the board of directors take home 168 billion. Uh, second one is 81 billion. Sapura Energy, okay? 72 billion. IOI Corp, 39 billion. No wonder everybody want to run a public listed company. That's that's million, right? Uh, healthcare Maxis, thirty two million. Public Bank twenty six. Air Asia twenty four million. YTL fourteen million. Astro thirteen million. Astro another subsidiary of uh, this uh, Ustaha Tegas, right? Uh, Hong Leong Bank, IOI Corp, Sign Tax. Whoa, they're up there too. Uh, Hong Hong Leong, Maybank, CIB Group, YTL Power. Right, the YTL family. KLK, BAMB, Telecom Malaysia, India. Now, if you look back, now why I say this is because look at the return on equity. Okay? The return on equity to take home 168 billion compared just now, right? Remember just now we talked about uh, just, just of a comparison now, right? Uh, the top glove, okay, paid about 12.8 million. Okay? It produced 4.8 billion. Then you have, uh, and then the return on equity is about, I would say, uh, right now is about twelve uh, percent, uh. No, that was historically about twelve percent. Historically about twelve percent. Then you versus Genting Group, okay? Genting Group, uh, they are paid one hundred sixty-eight million, producing twenty-one billion. Okay, and you can see the return on equity is maybe less than six percent. 
So definitely you can see there is what we call a pay disparity. In my opinion, Top Glove is really fair to underpay. They can demand more, but I know these guys are uh, being the old generation uh, of the hardworking uh, uh, entrepreneurs. That's why he was voted by the uh, uh, by the uh, so society, not society, more of the top 100 entrepreneurs in there. They really did a very good job. Right, for what the kind of revenue pay. So this is quite interesting to get the perspective. You know, you can get paid high, but make sure you bring in the uh, the uh, revenue in here. And they only paid twelve. No, not so. If you look at here, there's just somewhere around down here, only. Uh, where is it? Just somewhere around here. Yeah, twelve point eight here. Okay, so they are right in the middle. They're small, not smack about the hundred million here. Okay, now this, uh, if you look at it, they are both husband and wife team. So in a way, it's really closely controlled based on insider holding in there. Now that's very important, which means that if he has full control of his future, he will continue to work hard for you if you are a shareholder of the company for longer term, right? You can see uh, Tan Sri Dr. Lim and his wife, Puan, Puan Sri Tong Siu B, holds about almost 27%, uh, uh, a little bit of indirect, and you know, totally this, these guys are really controlling it. Of course, EPF still remain to be in there, 7.7%. First way is more of uh, uh, one of those uh, acquisition companies that he used uh, uh, to inject and control so much of the share that he have, all right? So insider holding, they own about 31%, both husband and wife team in here. Now, if you look at the top glove, by using the Pentagon chart in here, very interesting. We have actually three uh, Pentagon in here. The first one came out in March. You could have got out, then you got back in. But this is the ATR stop loss. Okay, if you're going for the longer term, you can use the ATR stop loss in here. If it doesn't close down, this one you close over here, right? But... It didn't close below. So when it closes below, oh, sorry, here, here's the ATR stop. As long as it doesn't close below the ATR stop, I'll continue to let, let it profit run. So two ways for you to exit. You can project it higher here, or you just let the profit run from the backwards. So this is how you use the Pentagon in here. It will guide you in the right way. But based on what I've just shown you before going forward, huh, the future have a 12-15% growth in here. Future looks pretty good for, for, for the rubber glade industry. But the question is, what price are you paying? Okay, I think that's very important. Uh, Kevin asked whether XOX uh, charts. Tonight, we're not going to talk about all those charts. Do that tomorrow with Zach. Okay, tonight, I just want to focus on Top Glove. So right now, uh, on the this is again uh, from the Smart Roby. Those of you who have used Smart Roby, the sentiment now is very good. So Smart Roby are able to pick up a lot of the news. Uh, and uh, you don't need to even to read the news. Smart Roby. We'll read it for you. So right now you can see uh, the sentiment, it's very, very positive, all right? Uh, this is average selling price. Demand is uh, demand search is still underappreciated. That was the news came out in the 17th, which I talk about it here, right? Because they do see the 12 and 15% India not fully reflected. And we are on a part where the market start to pick up. But Top Glove has already picked up uh, a fair bit. Here you can see uh, Top Glove, what is the target price? Right now, we are at 1080. Okay, so if you see some of the news in there, uh, the headlines is good enough to give you a full picture in here. 13.3%, okay, from 1080. Okay, you will get another 23% uh, price appreciation. All right, so it's still there and it's still running, and uh, but it's all time high. So the question is, do you want to buy high? And you got, so it's going to be, be based on a bit on your personality. But let's go forward too. Now let's look at the fundamental. Definitely the fundamental. It's not rated. Not rated means it is overvalued. You can see here, if you look at in terms of the disc, discounted price, uh, it is only worth one dollar. But right now it's worth it. So that's why you can see the PE uh, is about seventy times right now at this price. This is based on the uh, 12 months uh, trailing uh, 12 month trailing uh, ROE, which is less than 10%. But I do think they will make it back to 12%. So that that way the PE will also. But again, a very important, I think we if you want to go back, the next slide I'll tell you is that on the 18th of June, the EPS date will be out. So right now it's overpriced. Robbie rated it as NA. Overpriced, there's no safety or margin up here. So if you're buying it now, you're buying on a momentum and strong stock, okay? 
Now, let's look at the, some of the top reasons in here, okay? Top reason to buy Top Glove is that it is a growth and momentum of stock. And now, because you have not bought Top Glove or any of the rubber glove, and you have this what we call FOMO, afraid of losing out. Okay, afraid of uh, sorry, afraid of missing out because analysts are calling to buy every you can see right the last new scan that we have on Robbie, everyone is telling at thirteen dollars thirty cents, now it's ten thirty. Wow, I still can get twenty three percent upside, you know. But guess what? Robbie already say what? Over value. That's right. So but the future prospect is good, especially bright on post MCO. But if you do want to get it, you wait for the pullback. At 8.59, right, you can see here, 10.78. This was the the price, the trading plan for today, right? The trading plan, if you were doing it uh, today, 19, so buy. Okay? It's already a buy tomorrow onwards. And then you hold it for two weeks to two months if you're trading it. And very important, that uh, 18th of June, okay, which is about maybe two more weeks from now, is the EPS quarterly date. Right, and the target price of $11.70 uh, for the medium term of you go for uh, one of the analysts is $13.30. Okay, so whichever the way you go, uh, you still got a bit more upside on that part, but going back to what kind of personality you are. Now, here are also the top reasons if you have it, thing to sell or avoid. For start, it's already trading at 70 times PE. Right, ROE is going to get a bit better, but Dividends are not so good. Intrinsic value is already overvalued, depending whether you value investor. Now, if you are what we call uh, already have top glove and ready to sell, $11.50 could be your target price, all right, with a stop loss at $9.20 or when it turned red Pentagon, right? So what it simply says that you can want to put it to sell higher at $11.50 or put a stop loss as 920, whichever way you can. If you exit, then look for a much cheaper stock, which is Supermax. Now, all these are in Smart Roby. Okay, so other trending stocks because it will look for something which is less expensive. Uh, last check, the Supermax is only 50 times PE compared to uh, 70 times PE for that one. All right. Yeah, that's right, 9.6 only. Okay. Now, again, looking at where the bear market and the bull market, I think it's very important. We are somewhere around here, okay, here. But this is for the KLCI. But unfortunately for rubber glove sector, it's already somewhere, somewhere around here. Uh, excitement, uh, rubber glove is somewhere around here. So there's really a mismatch. Now, how do, you, how, how do you want to play this? Now, the way I want to play this is I wait for a pullback, right? I have to be very patient. You've got to have a winning system. And winning system is important, so you time it together with the bull market. So this is what we call, uh, be a smart trader. Now, I already introduced you, those of you who are using Smart Roby, you have seen it in more, download it, share it with your friend, and then you don't have to pay. You will get free 200 credit for every friend that you share. Imagine if you share 10 credit, you get 2,000. I'm almost 4,000 already, you know, because I've been sharing a lot with my uh, some of my uh, so-called friends and downline. So do share yours. So very important, I think, to be a smart trader. Uh, this is what we want to talk about, developing metacognitive skill. Know yourself, set some goals in here, monitoring those performance. Don't just follow the herb. Uh, just because uh, the newspaper asks you to buy, your friend to buy. But then what is your real objective in investing? A lot of people say, right, long term, but when the market start to tank, they'll start to think, is this show long term or not? Right. So again, do you have a winning system? Keep all those as a diary. One of the things that a winning system is knowing what sector will fare well. This is where our trade VSS uh, suites of uh, products will really help you. You can see healthcare is now really zooming. What are the next sector coming in? Is it plantation, consumer, technology? Because this will slowly move to the left-hand side. This is already run. Really. Think about that. Okay, so my talk in here helps you to rethink your approach. Just don't follow the herb. I think that's my message to you. It's very important. All right. Uh, so Smart Roby, get it from Google and Play Store. And also very important, uh, uh, we have developed the daily free Roby report. If you have not got it, scan this, put in your uh, name, your email, and you will get the Roby report delivered to your 
an email. If you don't like to deliver, you can go to facebook.com slash smartroby to read them because there are daily tips and there are undervalued stocks, which I found one today, hibiscus. All right, hibiscus is in the play. Maybe you want to get hibiscus for that hidden jewel. All right, so download in there and get the free credit. And our Smart Roby uses AI technology to do the news analysis in here. Right, and uh, we have good accolades and review. For those of you who uh, have used Roby and you find it really helps you, please go over to smartroby at facebook.com and give me your review. We really need those review inside there to make Roby beneficial to you to use more. All right, that's the only thank you. Uh, thing that, now, for those of you during the post MCO, again, uh, being affected by COVID, you want to learn more about trade, you want to know more about our winning system in here, affected in the salary cuts, then continue to join our live app post MCO until 31st of May. And Slama Hari Raya, as I said before, we are coming to almost one hour already. Thank you for your time. And also, we have a special package 12 months plus two months free worth. 600 ringgit uh, worth of uh, offer given to you if you sign up for our 12 month package in there and also don't forget uh, you can sign up for the combo too if you can upgrade to the June uh, June sorry this will be June 13 uh, it's only a three-day course uh, 13 to uh, the reason why I put it to 21 because it's actually we, we run on four days 13 14 15 plus the uh, Wednesday too so it's actually June 13 to 15 it's a three-day course all right and uh, that's the end of my top glove, all right, uh, presentation in here. So I will take down uh, for some uh, question if you have. If not, just post it to the 266-9761 uh, for tonight. I know, I know some of you will have, please look at my stock. I have bought ABC stock. I bought DFC stock. What do you think of it? Very simple. Bring up Smart Roby. Look at the trading plan and see where you are. If you're on the blue trend zone, run it. If you're on the red trend zone, maybe you want to do some cutting or whatever. Have a system. All right. So that's all I have for you guys tonight. Uh, thank you for, for coming tonight in here. I hope you enjoyed this talk. Uh, the 360 degree stocks in focus as much as I presented to you. I am open for the next stock analysis in focus. So please uh, share that with uh, at 2669761 on what you want me to look at next week. I'll be happy to look at some stock which I think would be popular in the talk of everybody out there, right? Whether this is a good to buy, perhaps maybe looking at oil and gas sector next week. Okay, do let me know. So I'll see you tonight. Have a good rest. Right, I'll see you tomorrow at 10.15 uh, live CPO. And for my Muslim friends, Slama Haria, if I don't have a chance to speak to you guys, and uh, good night.